I decided I wanted to fix the water up just a little bit more, and so what I did is I took the Distorto brush under the standard brushes, under uh, Distortion, and it's under here, Distorto, and I took all these colors here, all the bright colors, I mixed them all around, and then now I'm just pushing them back and forth like this. And so I'm, I want to get this kind of ripply look within that. Then what I'm going to do is go back to my other brushes. Let's see, where did I load brushes? I'm going to go to Rob's brushes. And I'm going to go to the uh, Rob's basic flat. Actually, let me see what Bristle Brown does. I can't remember if it... Uh, okay, cool. It's kind of a nice brush, too, anyway. Uh, the flat brush, what it allowed me to do is... I can draw thick or thin lines, and they're nice and sharp. So this will allow me to fix the edges here. Because I want it to be nice. And make sure I have the right color. There we go. So I'm just fixing some of these lines in here. This way I know it's going to look... right. water hits, it should be nice and, uh, there we go. And now I'm just coming in here, I'm taking away some of that. There we go. Because I want that hard look that the water has. Maybe add just a little bit of Break it up. Okay. Like I said before, I'm not going for a complete uh, real look, so and I'm not going to try to replicate the photo, but I do want some of the look. spending way too much time on the water. So I guess if you know you want to just get right to the skin, you can forward the video and hopefully I get to it soon. Oops. Okay, I think that'll be good enough for now. I mean, just something that kind of resembles water. That's all I want. Okay, let's get on with it. And I'm thinking if I should just paint right on the canvas still, or if I want to paint her skin, just in case. I'll start with its own layer. I can always flatten it. So I'm going to lay in this base color that I'm going to be using. Pick up bottom colors. And I'm going to go to Rob's uh, basic instead. I'm not worried about, right now, the other parts of the body. 
I'm just concerned with getting it where her skin's going to be. So I don't care if I got lines and everything. Since I'm on, I'm on my own layer, I can always erase it. Too big, the brush slows down a lot. Again, I'm not worried about staying in the lines right now. I'm going to just go and erase it anyway with the eraser. And what I'm probably going to do too is make another layer. And I'm going to get this true red in here for the balloons. I want that on there now. That way I can see how the picture is going to look together. And let me go to here. Because I know I'm going to have kind of fading in like that. I'm trying to think if I'm going to want one. I'm going to put this under the skin to so have to save me a little bit of time. What I'm doing now is just kind of blocking in where shadows would be. Remember, even though you know her hand is going to be causing a shadow on the balloon, but it's going to be a red shadow, kind of a more redder shadow because of I'm going to add just a little bit of blue shadow in there, not much, just a little bit from the sky because the sky would reflect on the balloons a little bit not much but they would and maybe even I'll even have some of this um, a bit bigger um, almost white actually because Just on some of them. A little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. There we go. You never want to have just one color, obviously, otherwise it'll look weird. That way it looks like some of the sky's coming through, and I'll work more on the balloons too. I'll add the extra lines and shadows to kind of make them look like they're on top of each other as well. For now, this works, and I'm going to add some shadows in that back balloon. I'm pretty sure that balloon goes down like that over there. How much time am I at? Okay, that one's done.